Hey guys, and welcome back to another 7 Days to Die video! Hooray! I know it's been such a long time since I've done a 7 Days to Die video, such a great game. Um, but of course, as you know, it's in alpha at the moment, um, and uh, obviously not a lot uh, I could have done because it's in alpha. But alpha 2.0 has just been released and there's tons of new features. I don't know if you've noticed, but the menu looks all different. There's some music playing. Oh man, this is this music. Sorry, I just realised this music is such a rip off of the 28 days, uh, 28 yeah, 28 days later theme song, the British zombie horror movie. Oh, that's amazing. Sorry, uh, I just noticed that. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, play some more. Uh, Seven Days to Die. Uh, there's lots of new features, lots lots of new places in the world to explore. There's a, there's a little town or city now I've heard uh, that you can find. There's new enemies, new weapons and stuff. And this is only 2.0 of Alpha. I'm really excited. There's a Create a World fe Oh, it's not up yet. One of the next releases. Oh, it's okay. Uh, we're going to start a new map because I'm not sure about... Um, with the with the save we were on last time. Obviously, there's new places in the map. I don't know if it will be compatible. So we're going to start a new one. Whoa, look at all these options. Crap, there wasn't any options before. Okay, so we've got game mode. Oh, yeah, there's, there's, there's deathmatch mode and, and zombie horde mode. Uh, which which we'll check out in another video, I think. But for now, we'll stay with survival. Uh, my game world, Navis game. That's all we've got at the moment. And game name. Um, let's call this uh, Alpha Two. Um, okay, difficulty. Oh, you can change the difficulty. Oh, I don't think I want to change the. Uh, okay, it says on the side actually, scavenger. Easiest setting designed for noobs. Adventurer. Not just a new recruit anymore. Nomad. Oh, normal difficult setting. Warrior. Okay, I'm going to go with Nomad. Um, I, I won't go anything above that because I think it'll probably be unfair. But I want it to be some challenging. But. Okay, 24 hour cycle. Oh, you can add. Oh, dude, that's awesome. You can change how long the days are. Oh, the 24 hour cycle, yeah, day and night. Oh, it's a shame it doesn't go up any higher, though. Oh, that's alright then. Uh, let's stick with 30 minutes because uh, that seems to be the default. Friendly fire, it doesn't matter. I'm not on a server. Enemy spawning. Oh, let's turn that off. No. <laughs> That would be funny if we just turned that off. It would be the easiest game ever. Um, enemies, uh, show player icon. It doesn't really matter. Public game. Well, private game. doesn't really matter. Cheat mode. Um, I think we'll leave that off. We'll check, probably check out all the stuff in another video, actually. All the Because it's got like a creative mode, like in Minecraft. Um, but yeah, let's do it. Start. Yes! This is going to be so cool. I'm so excited to play this game again with all the new stuff in it. It's been months, I thought... Um, oh, okay. It wanted to crash on me. Okay, sorry, it just crashed, but I'm back now. Okay, so this is the new stuff I'm going to put in. Knockback system, new uh, la new locations and larger world, new multiplayer modes and maps, new biome types, wow, forging. Ah, stealth, that'd be awesome. So this is all coming in the next alpha, I'd imagine. But let's do it. Let's start the game. Oh, yeah. And the um, good old... Wasteland is here. What have we got? Let's check our inventory. The um, the HUD on the uh, bottom left side of the screen is a little bit more um, detailed now. I can see there's more detail in it. Oh wow! And all the um, all the icons for the stuff are different now. That's cool. They're more detailed. This is cool. Oh yes. Oh, is that a new pistol or is it just a new? No, it's the same pistol. Sorry, it's just a new model. And I've been playing a lot of Minecraft, so I'm trying to press E for the inventory, but you press E to open stuff in this. It's I for inventory, so I've got, I'm probably going to have to get used to that. Um, so, um, Okay. <clears throat> right, uh, which way to go? Uh, let's go this way, because there is a car over there. Actually, let's check the map. Oh, crap. What's going on? Okay, so this is new. Gravetown. Let's go to... I want to go to Gravetown. This is the new area. Where am I? Where am I? I don't know where I am. Oh, I'm there. I'm right near... Crap, zombies are coming for me. Hello, my friends. How's it going? I've got different noises, some of them. Okay, uh, let's go this... This way, is it? Yeah, this direction. I want to go to this Gravetown. This is, this is a new... Freaking monsters everywhere. It's a new area, a new, um, is that the only one? It's Gravetown. There might be a few other things on the map, I think, but that's the main one. So let's head in that direction. 
Oh, this is awesome. This is so awesome. So yeah, there's different game modes now. There's like a death match and then a zombie horde mode, which is probably like the sub that, what's that mode called on Left 4 Dead? Where you're at that lighthouse and you just have to survive the hordes coming at you. I, th I think it's like that, I don't know. But yeah, I've got some stuff here, submachine gun. So I'd imagine um, that the um, item spawning might be a little more realistic now. Um, because in the, well, I don't know if it will be, but I know it will be in the final um, final game. Uh, because obviously like I found like two bazookas in a house at one point and that was a, a bit unrealistic really. But that's fine. So I'd imagine they... Oh, it's a dog! Zombie dog! Freaking heck yeah! This is this is one of the only... Thi I will be honest, this is one of the only things I'm happy about. Uh, as in, uh, with new enemies um, in uh, in this alpha. I, f I forgot to say, actually. The... Uh, oh, man, it's just like a Resident Evil zombie dog. Oh, they've so, they're so, like, taken the inspiration off Resident Evil. That's really cool. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the end, the new. I'm not actually really too happy about the new enemies they've put in um, for a couple reasons. One being uh, they can climb walls. Two being um, the big fat ones can um, sort of do a boomer puking bile thing, um, which lets them destroy, go through blocks. Um, that's annoying. It doesn't combine that yet. Um, hello. Um, yeah, uh, so it's it's gonna get a lot harder, which uh, which is, I suppose is a cool thing, but it might get annoying. So you've got zombies. Whoa, jeez. Hello, Fatso. Oh crap. Crap, 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 crap. I, I I need to. Oh crap! Look at my health. Damn. Damn. Um. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe it's the difficulty I'm on. I'm not sure. Uh, hold on. Um. Crap, 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 crap. Does my, my health regenerates, doesn't it? Oh, wait, where's the pills? Oh, crap, I need to... I need to pay more attention, I think. Damn, I almost died. This is really dangerous. Yes, as I was saying, sorry, I'm... Oh, hello. Uh, the, uh... These guys can, can puke and uh, destroy walls now, which sucks. And some zombies can climb walls. Oh, crap, there's zombies everywhere. Uh... Which is not good because that means like we can't build a structure and hide on the top of it now because zombies will still be able to get up. Um, so things are getting a lot more harder now with this game, which isn't doesn't have to be a bad thing necessarily. And I'm really annoyed that it doesn't combine items automatically still, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, it just means we have to be a lot more careful. Um, which way are we going? We're going this way. Yes, this way. Going south. Uh, crap, what have I got? Let's just put some stuff here. Um, I didn't really need to do that, did I? Let's just keep on top of um, all our stuff. How much ammo have I got in here? I've got, okay, okay, enough, that's good. Let's collect those. So I need to go back in zombie survival mode, really, because I'm not, I don't feel in zombie survival mode. So I'm obviously, I'm getting my ass handed to me. <laughs> that zombie only, I swear he only hit me once. Um, and I have my health as well low. This is, this is really bad. Okay. Is that a bird? What was that supposed to be? I think it's supposed to be a bird. It looks a bit odd. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a fly! That's another, that's another one of the enemies, the new enemies, guys. They're like giant bees or whatever. Crap. Crap. Yeah, those guys are here. That I'm not too happy about them either, because that's a bit lame, really. Although, I did say they're getting their inspiration from Resident Evil, and they do have giant bugs in Resident Evil, actually, so... That does make sense. Um, but I would prefer not to have them, to be honest. I just love... I know I've said it so many times before in this series, but I love how... A headshot is a kill, because there's so many games where you shoot an, an enemy in the head about a hundred times and it doesn't kill them. I, mean, you, I could shoot this zombie loads of times in the body and eventually he'd die, but if I just pop him once in the head, BAM! Uh, he's dead. Which is good. It's realistic. And I like how I'm... well, I don't like it, but I, it's 
sort of realistic now, how we're finding the weapons half damaged. Because if I remember correctly, the weapons were pretty much immaculate in the last uh, version of this game. Oh, bedroll. I'm taking that baby with me. Oh, I might take two, actually, just to, just to be sure. Oh, yeah. More stuff. Uh, I think I'll replace that with that, actually. I won't take them both. Um, some food and bottled water. Oh, I'm actually really thirsty right now. So that's making me thirsty. I need to buy some more Coke, actually, guys, because I usually drink Coca-Cola when I'm playing this game. I've noticed. Um, but alas, I have no Coca-Cola. 